features on the sun, sunspots. This is by far the most prominent, most famous feature on the sun, sunspots. These are caused by the magnetic field of the sun, which prevents the hot gas from rising. Okay, what do we mean by that? Let's look here. This is uh, what a sunspot will look like if you do a close-up, huge. It's about twice the size of the Earth. And then we'll talk about what this is later on. This is called granulation. Uh, the surface of the sun from the outside will look very smooth, but if you really look in, zoom in, and then you will see that it's actually very grainy looking. This is called granulation. You see here, like that. In this picture. Oh, this is, shows you the mechanism of how the sunspot is created. I like this picture. It's not a real picture. It's more like a graphical way of showing. The magnetic field of the sun is coming up here and breaking through the sun's surface and then coming back down, okay, in this picture. Now, what is that causing? Because it's going out of the surface, the, the convection currents that are occurring right below the surface, you see, what's going to happen is this area of the sun, the convection current is not going to be able to rise. The heat is not going to be able to rise right here. So the hot gas is unable to rise because of the magnetic field. So here the hot gas is going to be able to rise all the way to the top and come back down. Here the hot gas is not going to be able to rise all the way up. The magnetic field is like blocking it. So what is that going to cause? This sunspot is going to be cooler than its surroundings com in comparison because the hot gas is prevented from rising. Okay, so that's one of the things we should expect. We should expect the sunspot to be cooler than its surrounding. The other thing we should expect, the sunspot should be coming in pairs. You see here? Like a south pole, the north pole, or a north pole, south pole. They usually should come in pairs. The other thing we should expect, the magnetic field inside the sunspot should be stronger than the magnetic field outside. Why? Because that's where the magnetic field is coming out. You see? So the field there should be stronger, it should be cooler, and it should be darker in comparison to the surrounding. And they should come in pairs. So if this theory is correct, all of those two things should hold. And it ends up that they are. They, all those things tr hold true. About 23,000 kilometers wide, twice the diameter of Earth. That's the typical size. Usually they appear in pairs. So it does end up that they appear in pairs. A single sunspot can last from two to eight weeks. So it doesn't last like for years and years and years. They come and then they disappear. And that means two to eight weeks roughly. The most it can last is about two months. Remember, uh, Galileo had this argument with the, the, the Catholic monks. They were saying that Galileo's discovery on su of sunspots, they can't be actual spots on the sun because that would make God make an imperfect object. So their argument was the sunspots were little moons that were going around the sun, little satellites, right? How did he disprove them? After about two months, the sunspot will disappear, right? Does the moon disappear after every two months? No. Okay, that was, that's it. You just needed that, and then that showed that these were actual spots on the sun. They weren't satellites. Okay, I think we should be good enough. We'll continue from there next week. Monday, we'll pick up with the sun, okay? Uh, we'll continue lecture nine. Okay, last time we got over here in the lecture, we were uh, start, uh, about to end lecture nine. We got to the last portion where we were talking about the features on the sun, and we said sunspots, and we talked about what causes sunspots, and then we were talking about what are the characteristics of sunspots. We saw that they are about twice the diameter of the Earth. Usually they appear in uh, pairs, like a North Pole and a South Pole, or a South Pole and a North Pole, because they are due to the magnetic field of the sun. Okay, uh, they can last two to eight weeks, we mentioned. 
we said they are colder and darker than the photosphere. Now, one of the other things that should be true is that they should have very strong magnetic field. See, generally the magnetic field of the sun is very, very, very strong. So, in general, the magnetic field of the sun is very strong. But if we compare the magnetic field of the sun inside of the sunspot, as compared to the magnetic field of the sun outside of it, inside of it should be stronger. And when we have done studies of that, our uh, theory has been confirmed. See, everything that you theorize or you hypothesize, you have to then be able to observe it and confirm it. And it has been confirmed. The magnetic field of the sun has been confirmed to be stronger in the photosphere. How do we know this? There's a phenomenon known as the Zeeman effect, Zeeman, okay, German uh, scientist. And he um, theorized that if there is a mag very, very strong magnetic field and you study the spectral lines of an atom inside of that magnetic field, the spectral lines should be split, okay? So Zeeman effect is the splitting of the spectral lines of an atom due to the presence of a very, very strong magnetic field. And when we observe the spectral lines of hydrogen and helium, and the other elements inside of this photosphere, we find that they have been split. Let me show you what that split means. Okay. You see, so if we study the magnetic field of the, the, the spectral lines of the sun outside of the um, solar, uh, outside of the sunspot, there is a uh, s solar spectrum, okay, and this is the hydrogen spectrum, okay? But you could do this with pretty much any of the spectrums. There's a line there, there's a line there, there's a line there. Remember, the spectrum of the sun is known as an absorption spectrum. Uh, gases have emission spectrum. So these lines have been absorbed, absorbed, absorbed. Now, when you get inside of the sunspot, you see, region in the sunspot, look at what has happened. That absorption line this one you can't really tell that well, but it's kind of split into different parts, but it's very thick and the space between is not very noticeable. This one is very noticeable. The spectral line comes and then splits into three. You see here? And then there's a gap in between. This one is not as noticeable, but it, you can kind of tell the single line comes and then there's some splitting taking place here. But the most noticeable one is this one. And this is outside of the sunspot. So a single line comes and then splits. That proves that the magnetic field, the, the magnetic field of the sun is strongest inside of the sunspot. Okay, causes this, the lines to split.